friends, it's Audra Monk um, from Mountain Spirit Yoga in Middletown, Maryland, although I'm in Urbana at my house. Um, so I was thinking, I haven't done any Facebook Lives for a while because I've been busy working on the videos for um, for your classes. You know, Carla and I have been working on those and Mary. Um, so, but I was going to show you, um, some days you just need, <laughs> you just need a little break. And one of my favorite things when I'm tired or a little headachy or a little grumpy, um, or my knees or my ankles are like not feeling good, is legs up the wall. Um, in my house, now if I go up two floors, I could make wall space, um, but my son, that's where he practices. Um, I don't have a, a lot of wall, well, okay, I have a lot of walls, but I also have a lot of bookshelves, okay? So, I tend to do legs up the wall. My best place is, um, we have these, uh, I don't know if you call them French doors or whatever, to our little deck. Hi, puppy. Um, and so I like to do legs up the wall here. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So um, you could do this on your bed if you have a flat headboard. Like in hotels, I do it on the, the hotel bed all the time. Um, so, and you could do this like on the floor with your legs on the couch. That works too. So I'm gonna show you my favorite way to get here if the dog will let me. Excuse me, pup. So I take a blanket. It's the same blanket I usually fold up um, and use when I'm doing yoga in the living room. And I do like to have um, some pillows. All right, so I'm gonna move the pillows out of the way. So what I do with the blanket is I put it right up next to my door. And then I come and I sit down <laughs> next to my door with my knees bent. Okay, and it's not, as you guys know, if we do this in class, it's not the most graceful thing, it's not the most beautiful thing to get in the legs of the wall, but it's worth every bit of it to get there. Okay, so. What I do is I lean, I slide, so my butt's coming forward of where it's probably gonna go. I lean back on my elbows, and then I carefully come on my back and scooch my legs around. Now, one good thing about having a wood floor and a blanket is you can scooch uh, everything where you need it. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to give your dog her toy. You don't have to get your um, butt super close to the door, but you can. If your hamstrings are feeling really tight, you might actually scooch away. And then if you want it closer, this is the inelegant art of yoga scooching. You just wiggle and wiggle and wiggle. And occasionally you get it all wrong and you have to come out. But I like it kind of close. She's standing on my hair and my legs go up the wall. And then if I can get my pillow, I like to put, oh, there we go. One pillow is all I need. Some days I like two, but often one is really good. Okay, and then there's options of what to do when you're here. I have been known to rest here, and oh, this feels so good today, because my knee, I had a pretty, um, a pretty more intense bike ride on my Peloton this morning. So my lower legs are sore, and I've been standing up working, and I went to the grocery store. This is a lot of work today, and it's so weird to go to the grocery store with a mask on, seriously. Um, and luckily the Wegmans wasn't too crazy and they had, I think there were four things I wanted, four or five that I couldn't find, but otherwise I found everything else. So we will have food for this week. Um, so anyway, I'm a little tired and I just thought I was gonna do this anyway, so why didn't I just show you how it goes? So, but now here I'm saying, what's nice is if you can stay here for a little while. So, you know, some of us are super zen, we can just get here, we can just breathe and we're happy as a clam. Some of us, we've got those monkey minds, right? And they're busy and they're going all sorts of ways. So I've been known to take my phone and hold it up and look at Facebook or read an article. Uh, your, your arms do get kind of sore sometimes. Occasionally I've done a magazine, fold it back and same thing. Uh, you could also on your phone or whatever set a timer. So if you're good at going nice and zen, set a timer and let yourself rest here. You could play some really nice music um, on the radio or from your phone or whatever. Uh, you could listen to a podcast or an audio book, all those kinds of things. You can pet your dog. That feels really good. If you have a cat, um, when we had cats before, they used to love this. And for those of you uh, with little kids at home, you're going to find this relationship. My kids used to love this pose. And sometimes when they were, you know, two or three or whatever, they would come and snuggle up next to me and, um, you know, just chat with me. And that was always kind of fun. So this pose is great uh, if you have a headache kind of coming on. It's great for when you have some swelling in the, the feet, the ankles, the lower legs. Um, it's great for your back. I always think it makes my back feel good and your shoulders can come down and rest. So it's a great pose. So I hope you might try this very carefully and 
do some legs up the wall and you might have to get creative so my second place I do this in my house and I won't show you right now but um is our pantry door in the kitchen part I will do that there sometimes when it's real cold it's nice here because the Sun is coming in the windows um, and that feels really good okay so now how to get out first you have to extract yourself from your dog hi dog um, okay and you want to come carefully so I think the longer you stay the longer you need to take to get out of this pose so we're not gonna rush um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna come back here in, in fact after I turn off this video but so what we do is we slide our feet down the wall or the door or the cabinet whatever it is okay I'm gonna go to the right I think it you know you want to go to your dominant side and for a lot of us we're righty so take your right arm you're gonna bring it up so that when you roll over your head is cushioned all right if you were there five to ten minutes I would stay here at least 30 seconds to a minute you could even stay longer all right and then when you're ready put your left hand on the floor push yourself up and then carefully make your way up to standing so there you go, uh, legs up the wall at home with your dog. Um, questions, comments, requests are always welcome and know that we're missing you and thinking of you and we hope that this is helpful for you today. So stay well, be careful, um, and I will see you next time. All right, so I have to do this fun part where I come over here and turn it off. Bye friends!